1027 WNEW, The Rock of New York, Jimi Hendrix, Fire, the latest from the Black Crows before that, kicking my heart around. It's Opie and Anthony. Hey. And uh, hi to everyone that is uh, attempting to leave this fine island of ours that we call Manhattan. <sighs> Good effing luck. All the travelers on their way to see their relatives, I'll and I You know, the, and the news stations have got to lighten up. I've seen three or four, uh, what, what do they call them, Anthony? Pieces on holiday travelers. Let's uh, go to the airport now where Mitch is live. I'm here at Newark Airport. Lots of busy travelers. Let's talk with a few. Where are you going? I'm going to Denver to have Thanksgiving dinner with my son. All right, now let's show the clips of the planes taxiing down the runway, people waiting on line yes. every year. We know every year, the day before Thanksgiving, it's a complete and utter nightmare to yeah. get anywhere. So why do we have to stress that on the news? And talk about, wow, surprisingly, this is the first year in the history of man that uh, <laughs> travel is so bad the day before Thanksgiving, everyone. Everyone knows it's Let's sucks. talk to the ticket agency. Uh, have you had a busier than usual crowd today, ma'am? Oh, it's been very busy this year. A lot of people are trying to get uh, to their loved ones. And how about this one? I would suggest uh, if, you, if you want to get out of town, you might want to leave early today. Oh, really? Oh. Well, why don't you freaking tell my boss that? i got to work for a few more hours. <laughs> Some rules to remember. Uh, if you're going to the airport, uh, get there a little early. <laughs> uh, some other rules, be patient and uh, leave early, yes. <laughs> leave work uh, at, at noon. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thanks for all these tips that uh, I think we already know. <sighs> right? I'm going to be sitting in traffic for quite some time. Well, Anthony's got a uh, nightmare ahead of him. I got my big weekend coming up. Monday, I guess we can discuss how it goes. But this is the weekend, if you were listening uh, a few months back, that I will be going to Massachusetts for Thanksgiving. Now, that sounds like, uh, you know, a cool thing to do, Anthony. Go to Massachusetts for uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, you, you know, Jen's uh, mom lives up there. Oh, uh, yeah. And, uh, you know, being a married guy, I'm sure you have to split the holidays and stuff. So, uh, you know, you have to do this, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, but explain to people what you'll be doing Friday morning. After driving all the way up uh, to Massachusetts for Thanksgiving. Well, Friday, uh, me, Jen, um, Auntie Marg, and Jen's mom, my mother-in-law, uh, all pile in my vehicle. And we drive uh, the 250 miles back to Ma uh, New York. <laughs> <laughs> so let me get this straight. You are driving 250 miles to Boston to have Thanksgiving dinner. Just so you could, on Friday, turn right around with the whole crew and come back to New York. Come back to New York, Opie, because we're seeing the Christmas show. We're going to the Radio City Christmas show. Wow, that should be fun. On uh, Sunday. Yeah. Now, there's a Saturday in there, isn't there? Yeah. So what do we do Saturday? What are you doing Saturday? I don't know. Come over and kill me. <laughs> could, you, could you come over and kill me, please? <laughs> Now, logically, I got to ask this question for a lot of yeah. people listening right now. Mm -hmm. Now, if uh, if uh, your mother-in-law and your mother-in-law's aunt, aunt or whatever she is, Auntie Marg, Auntie Marg, if they're coming down here anyway for the Christmas show, why don't you just have Thanksgiving down here? Get them on like a like a train or something, and it saves you driving 500 miles. You, you must be some sort of a madman, Opie, for even mentioning that. But that sounds logical to me. No, no. No, it just can't work that way. No? I, I, you, you don't know the odd even uh, years where you, you do Thanksgiving with uh, the wife's family or my family. But can't you adjust in a case no, like no, this? No, no. You're talking holiday <laughs> anarchy now. <laughs> now you, the whole structure of our civilization crumbles if you start just casting rules to the wayside. You don't do that. You adhere to the odd even rule. I would love to be a fly on your wall. I mean, logically, this does make sense that you're driving 250 miles for Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow just to turn around on Friday so you can bring everyone to the Christmas show. It's an Down even year. It's an even year, Opie. Even years I spend in Massachusetts. Odd years I spend down here. When we were um, uh, on the air up in, in Boston, uh, it was okay, to, but then I had to drive down here. Right. So it doesn't matter where I am. Oh, okay. Think if uh, we were in L.A. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I mean, I'd have to travel uh, somewhere uh, all the time. That would be a long drive. You'd have to leave November 1st for Thanksgiving. Yes, I would. <laughs> <laughs> and the Mom and Annie Marg over the Rocky Mountains all the way back. <laughs> now, uh, now uh, who's paying for this whole shindig, the Christmas show? Because that, that's uh, a lot of money for tickets for that thing. Oh, 
Yeah, Opie. And that's okay. Are you getting uh, hotel rooms? Yes. So who's paying for all this whole mess? Because I know that uh, you and I don't make a lot of well, money let's here see. at W. Let's look at the sheet. <laughs> okay. Uh, Whose who's credit card's on there? Oh, it's mine. That would be yours, yeah. Yes. I am paying. I am footing the bill, as they say, <laughs> for the whole shindig. So I have a, a, an entire weekend uh -huh. that I am spending. Yeah. With um, elderly women <laughs> in New York City. <laughs> Woo! -hoo! Oh, that's, yeah, that's fun. Take them to flash dancers. <laughs> so that's my weekend. That sounds great. That's my whole holiday weekend. It starts right after the show with my drive up the FDR Drive, mm -hmm. uh, which should take until probably Saturday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I, I get up to uh, Boston, Thanksgiving down here, Christmas show. And then you don't have to drive him back, do you? No, I laid down the law, Opie. I'm no sucker. <laughs> <laughs> so you're throwing him on a bus or a train Sunday uh, after the Christmas show? They hop on the Amtrak. Oh, okay. And uh, yeah, then they are the, the in, in the custody of Amtrak. Very nice. Yeah. So that's my uh, my little holiday weekend. All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm psyched for it. I'm looking forward to it, and uh, you'll all hear about it Monday. Anthony's spending uh, his holiday with the Golden Girl. <laughs> It's the Rockettes. Look at the kick line. Annie Mog, wake up. <laughs> Annie Mog, it's the kick line. Look. Oh, they're bringing the llamas out. Look. Oh, isn't that cute? The baby Jesus. <laughs> wake Annie Mog, you're drooling. I swear I could get a video, pop it on a big screen TV, and, and she could think it's the show. <laughs> she can't see. She can't hear or see. So I could sit her in front of a big screen TV, put on uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and tell her, hey, we're at Radio City, Annie Mark. All right. Well, have fun, Anthony. That sounds great. 1027 WNEW, The Rock of New York, Aerosmith. I'll never be able to listen to Aerosmith uh, the same way ever again. I'll always think about uh, what happened on the show yesterday. That was disgusting. <laughs> if you weren't listening, uh, uh, I guess it was a form of cannibalism that happened yesterday. Yeah. Um, we're not proud of it, but um, what do you say? <laughs> I don't know. What, I don't even know where to begin on that one, Anthony. Well, um, a Wilda. Was her name right? Yeah, Wilda from Astoria. Yeah, she came in and ate the uh, little tube that was taken out of stockbroker Dave during his vasectomy, <laughs> so she could go to Aerosmith. There it is in a nutshell. No pun. Uh, yeah. And uh, the phone calls and the email have been going uh, absolutely nuts. Yeah, we're um we're not proud of it. No, but uh, no. it's just what happened, and we got to uh, deal with it. Yeah, and people are already calling, going, "How are you guys going to top that?" <laughs> An execution <laughs> is slated <laughs> for Monday when we come back from the long holiday weekend. Oh, oh brother. Yeah. So I think um, Charlton Heston's going to be calling in with traffic a little later. Oh, good. Well, it's a very heavy traffic day, people traveling. Well, uh, a lot of people calling for their cars saying, man, we're in hell. Yeah. We're in absolute hell. Chuck Heston will let you know the uh, the routes to take, any uh, alternate routes. And you know what's so funny about the day before Thanksgiving? Uh, you get out of work like three hours early, and you're convinced that you're the only one that got out early. Yeah. And you're going to beat the traffic. Oh, sure. And all of a sudden yeah. you're like, what, what, what happened? <laughs> but I left early. Why are there so many cars on the road? I, I thought I'd get home in 20 minutes. I've been on this road for five hours. <laughs> Hang in there, guys. We feel your pain today. <laughs> so I guess I got to congratulate all the new members of the Tuesday Night Hummer Club. Yeah. Congratulations. Congrats to anybody who uh, received their Hummer last night and are now uh, in the club. Yes. Well, we got, a lot of, we got a lot of people um, home for the holidays, Anthony. Yeah. So they might not know what the Tuesday Night Hummer Club is all about. Oh, oh. It's a club we started here in New York. Mm -hmm. um, for couples that are having a little problem with their uh, with their sex lives, basically. Yeah, they've fallen into a rut. You know, things that you used to just take for granted and do to each other. 
uh, you don't do anymore, and it's very hard to ask for it. All of a sudden, uh, financial responsibilities oh, and kids, and, kids uh, and working a couple jobs and the stress of just uh, trying to raise a family kind of gets in the way. Yeah. And guys just don't know how to ask for their hummers anymore. <laughs> so we've encouraged the ladies for the last three weeks to uh, give their guy a little hummer to uh, join our lovely little club. On the Tuesday nights, uh, Tuesday night hummer club, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, I guess I will be relinquishing the Grand Poobah hat. So on the way... Because um, I'm sure Opie uh, has to have been a member this week. Can't be that three uh, Hummer Club uh, Tuesdays have gone by so, and you haven't received your h Hummer so to indoctrinate you. So on the way we got... Um, some, oh, some no. Garden and, Are you kidding and, me? And Led, and Led Zeppelin and... Wait a minute, you didn't... And if you want to talk to us today, 212-1027. Oh, no, because now this is starting to get a little sad. What? What happened? You didn't join the club? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's a no. <laughs> what are you on, dope? <laughs> no, huh? <laughs> Why do you think I started this stupid oh, club? God. Not to help everyone else, out to help my personal sex life. And now you've been heaved out as Grand Pooba. Yep. And 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 you're you're not you're not in the club. It wasn't even close yesterday. Oh. It wasn't even close. <laughs> but <laughs> wasn't there a promise made? And oh yeah, promises are made to be broken. As oh, you all know. no promise. Oh, What's no. a promise? Come on now. I am totally serious. <sighs> promise. Hi, N E W. Promise. Uh, turn the radio down. Oh, uh, uh, turn down. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> She's there, laughing like, at you. Talking to the guys. Yeah, you're talking to us live. What's up? I am not. Oh, oh we're gonna have to go. hang up on you. We're, we're on like a, right up on we're you. like on a 20 minute delay. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I just wanted to know if Opie's really cute because he sounds great on the oh, air. Oh, yeah. I mean, the single mm, one. Yes, yes, I'm I'm adorable. Mm. Well. Yeah. If I had to describe him, it's <laughs> like um, Brad Pitt uh, meets uh, Leonardo DiCaprio uh, and uh, Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> well, how old is he? How I, old are you? I'm 52. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the normal answer you would expect if uh, you talked to an NEW DJ. The singer from Tragically Hip uh, dug him, I think. Yeah, yeah, he was flirting with me. <laughs> well, we we just got that vibe. We I guess we shouldn't go on record and say that he actually was trying to pick me up, but I was definitely a little scared. <laughs> but uh, no, we're in our thirties and stuff, and my sex life sucks. Oh. Well, mine does too, but um, and I'm in my thirties also. Are, are you and... looking for a commitment? Um, uh, well, I, I would like to look for a commitment, but I don't uh, think with you, I would love to meet you. I, I, oh. I just need to get something out of my system. Meet? Meet? Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I just heard about the Tuesday night uh, Hummer Club. Are you, yeah. a, are you a member? Are you an active member of our lovely club? No, I'm not. Oh. Well, I'm not either. Uh-huh. And I need a lot of practice just in case it's going to go down uh, next Tuesday, so. Uh-huh. Love connection. Well, I'm not available for that, but I would love uh, to see what you look like. Are you on the internet, both of you? Yeah, this we're. Show is right because I've been listening since Friday. Friday? You, oh, wait, you it. just started listening to us Friday? No, I've been listening to you on and off for the past month, but I listened every uh, Friday, Monday, Tuesday. Okay. And um. Yeah. Our... And I try to always tune in. I flip back and forth between two stations, but I always listen. Wait, to you. You I, I, I need to know. You have who to el wait, 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 wait. I need to know who you, uh, who else you're listening to besides us. Uh, I don't want to say the other station on uh, the air. We don't yeah. care. We, we break care. all rules like here. I, I love, I love. <laughs> Wait, wait. Can I, can I explain something to you? Play the alternative. Oh, shut up! You're out. I don't want to meet you. <laughs> that was it. No wonder why I'm not getting it. Yeah, look at you. I have no patience for nothing. Wow. She listens to K Rock. Let me explain something to you guys. K Rock is totally worth listening to in the morning. I'm not going to argue that point. <laughs> but after that, it's a wasteland. Yeah. It is a complete wasteland. I hear, uh, like, disco on there or something. Yeah. It's like uh, dance music now. Yeah. Isn't it? In between uh, whatever else they're doing. So. Yeah. But, no, I am not a member of the Tuesday Night Hummer Club, everyone. I, I've let myself down. Ah. Uh.
Well, how is it looking for next week? Uh, not too good. Oh. I don't think. I think it's... Uh, it's just kind of it's, pathetic. Yeah, it's pathetic. I am officially a martyr now. I'll help everyone else out and I'll oh, suffer. Oh, my God. Right. Making everyone else happy but myself. Isn't that wonderful? You're stuck in traffic with Opie and Anthony. Uh, I got a little message for the ladies. That in the air. Screw it. It's Opie and Anthony. Hey, man. Uh, I was cranking that song big time. It's Opie and Anthony. We said that already. Yes, I know. Reminds me of Fast Times at Ridgemont High. We're playing a lot of music from Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Yeah. We played some Cheap Trick earlier. Cashmere. Where the, the there, Dream Police. Da, 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 da. <laughs> there was a film flub in uh, Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Because then they say put on side two of, uh, of Led Zeppelin 4. And then they played Cashmere. Yeah. Whoops. Yeah, but I, I think you're supposed to know that that dweeb wouldn't know the difference, you know? Oh, was that the whole uh, point yeah. of that? Okay. Yeah, before he uh, didn't have sex with Jennifer Jason Leigh. Maybe later in the show we could play uh, Moving in Stereo. Oh, that one brings back the memory Ooh. of Phoebe Cates coming out of the pool. Yeah. You oh. know I've always wanted you, Brad. <laughs> Brad. <laughs> Jesus. All right, it, Hamilton. It, it didn't sound like that when I uh, saw the movie. <laughs> I don't have cans like that. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Nice one. All right. Well, a lot of people are stuck in traffic. <laughs> yes. And I believe the traffic report uh, is uh, is uh, very special today because there's so many cars on the road, and there's only one person that could take on traffic on a day like today. Oh, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, open the door. It's Charlton Heston. <laughs> You have once again forsaken your flock. The faithful who have given their souls unto you are again frozen in time, while their only wish is to journey to the homes of loved ones, to give thanks for the good fortune you bestowed upon them. Damn you! Damn! Why? What horrors I now behold? The Triborough Bridge? No! This behemoth of iron and cable offers no passage. Those making the pilgrimage heed my warning. Shun this road of tears. Damn you, Lord God, damn. As my weary eyes gaze down upon the toes of the Lincoln Tunnel, my faith begins to escape me. Why, damn you, they toil away the daylight only to be greeted by a wall of steel. Steel that is the chariots of their fellow man. Damn you! Damn! Damn! No! No, Lord! Construction! Why? Who in their sickened mind would erect barriers, thus preventing swift passage? Mighty God, blast away these devil's blockades with a blast from your mighty nostrils. Damn you! You who are a merciful God must help your followers. Guide them to their loved ones. Damn you! Damn you to hell! Oh my God! Wow! Wow! Phew. Unbelievable! Look. Wow, look at it. Look at our hair! My hair, our hair turned, turned white! And my, mine is totally white! Oh! oh. Wow, what a treat. Did you see the light, the big shining light that follows them? Wow. wow. The Rack of New York, 1027 WNEW. It's Opie and Anthony. Metallica looked great at Rose Lane last night. Oh, yeah. I got myself in a little trouble because we were talking about uh, Metallica at Rose Lane last night, and I uh, made the statement that Lars is the best drummer in rock today. Mm -hmm. Fax machine going nuts. Why? What about Bill Bruford and 
What, uh, a, what about Neil Pert? I said in in Rock Today. Those okay. guys, the, Rush hasn't been around in a in a while now. And Bill Bruford is he still alive? <laughs> Bill Bruford. Uh, no offense, to, you know, with what the guy has done, but it's not like he's touring and 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 still drumming lately. Yeah. You should have saw what they were calling me because of my opinion. If you saw Metallica on MTV last night, and if you saw Lars pounding the skins, how can you argue that point right now? I saw him from probably 20 feet away last night. And the crowd was whipped into a frenzy. They were hauling people off the top of the crowd. I saw the girls being handed to security like uh, six-packs being <laughs> and carried like a six-pack. <laughs> a lot of shirts being t torn off. One girl crowd surfing. Yeah. Like, we see her get popped up on the crowd, and I'm just looking. I go, oh, this is going to be good. And they're just groping her, you know, feeling her, <laughs> and throw her to security. Great. There's no place to be is in the pit. No. It, that Man. pit looked scary last night. It was frightening. That's how I know I'm getting older. Because I can't even imagine being in there no. for two seconds. I was exhausted looking at it. Yeah. They're hosing them down. You know those things uh, the um, guys that exterminate use? Those big tanks. They yeah. pump up and yep. spray. They were spraying the whole crowd with water because they were just fainting. Yeah. People were uh, dropping dead. It was a wild show, though. Yeah, it was. And uh, Lars, best uh, drummer in Lars. rock today. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I made the statement. Said it again. I had to say it again. Now you get the faxes with other drummers. Yeah. Well. Oh, and by the way, we're not we're not going to play the Turkey song by Adam Sandler. Let a, every oh. other stupid station play that song. Stop requesting it. It's cute and stuff, but uh, it's not us. We don't want to play it. A oh, gobble gobble giggle. Oh. I oh. wish Turkey only cost a nickel. Mr. <laughs> Twenty million a movie. It was great to hear the the, the first thousand times I heard it. If you want, if you're looking for the the cute turkey song, go to another radio station today because we're not playing it. I'm not buying the uh, the real shy, reserved guy either anymore. Mm. Twenty million bucks. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just, I feel, I feel, you know, kind of stupid make, making so much money. It's kind of, you know, it's, it's just stupid. I, I play a stupid guy and I make money. Sammy Junior only had one eye. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I got to do uh, my movie line. What do you mean? Well, I always do my movie line, and this is the perfect opportunity. The shark attack All right. down in Florida. Oh, yes. Well, it, it really uh, paralleled a good scene in Jaws, if you remember that. Kid on the little raft. You got it. Man, who's the, who ever thinks they're going to get eaten by a shark? Well, the odds are pretty uh, slim. Yeah, it rarely happens. But this kid, what, he got bit, bit in half, right? Yeah. A nine-year-old kid. He's out swimming at Vero Beach. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, there's some c clamoring in the water. Or he's 13 years old. Yeah, 13. And uh, his mother goes out to help him out, and he just disappeared. And then what washes up on the beach uh, like a day later is uh, half of them. Ugh, that is just horrible. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. Okay. The mayor of Amity Island, mm -hmm. the Jaws, mm -hmm. seen the Great White is hanging up on the dock. Okay. They have captured the shark. Yes. Obviously the wrong shark. Yes. Or the movie would have been over in 20 minutes. Right. Matt Hooper couldn't decides... Get, couldn't figure that one out, but go ahead. <laughs> decides the only way... Oh, you fooled me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that must be the shark. Roll the credits. <laughs> Matt Hooper, marine biologist, decides um, to cut the thing open. Mm -hmm. It's the only real way to prove if it's their shark. Yes. The mayor... Uh, not the, he doesn't want that kind of a scene. He's uh, he's the mayor. He, he sees the shark is done. The beaches can be reopened. Money flow into city. <clears throat> the mayor of Amity. <clears throat> Look, fellas, let's be reasonable. This is not the time nor place to perform some kind of a half-assed autopsy on a fish. And I, for one, am not going to stand by while you cut that thing open and watch that little kittener boy spill out all over the dock. Thank you. Bravo. Thank you. Now, isn't that better than a stupid turkey song? <laughs> <laughs> Can you give us another line from Jaws? Here's to swimming with bow-legged women. Cheers. <laughs> hey, Chiefy, hope you brought your rubbers. <laughs> Hooper, ain't you watching it? <laughs> Beers up, everyone. Cheers. Mm. Happy holidays. The Rock of New York, 1027 WNEW, the latest from Lenny Kravitz, Fly Away, and Living Color before that, Cult of Personality, your Black Rock leader, WNEW. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we've gone urban. <laughs> what happened? What did happen? That was cool, though. Yeah. We haven't played Living Color in a while. It's Opie and Anthony. 
Oh, and some Sly and the Family Stone. Yeah, and then some Hendrix. Fuck. So, have we been censored or something? A lot of our listeners are calling mm. us up. What happened? I don't know. It was something in uh, the Daily News. The Daily News. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, we're not allowed to play um, chocolate salty balls. <laughs> <laughs> now, what does the article say? Here, let me read it. All right. I heard about this. Let me read it because everyone's calling up. We've been censored by uh, CBS Radio for some reason. Mm. Okay, let me see. Mm. Uh, we're not used to that. Yeah, we haven't been <laughs> censored before. In the television section, we get the headline and everything? Wow. You can't sing that on radio. Worried that Isaac Hayes' new song, Chocolate Salty Balls, may have too explicit a double meaning, NEW has asked Afternoon Jocks Opie and Anthony not to play it anymore. They didn't ask us. They told us not to play it anymore. Yeah. The song is a track in the new Chef Aid album built on characters and songs from Comedy Central's cult hit show, South Park. Hayes does the voice of the chef on the show, and the lyrics of this song are the kind of humorous double entendre popularized by the chef character. Opie and Anthony started playing the Hayes track about two weeks ago, sometimes twice a show, and they said on the air that response was great. But last Thursday, says WNAW operations manager Gary Wall, higher management asked them to stop. Out of concern, the song could trigger complaints to the FCC about indecent content. Oh. Are they paying attention to our show? They're worried about the chocolate salty ball song, but we have cannibalism yesterday, and that's okay? Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> you just can't sing about it. Is there hypocrisy right in the, in the walls of our uh, own building? I think so. Something that we try to fight on a daily basis here? It's a strange situation, says Wall. You could say certain words, but in another context, the word might not be acceptable. So the feeling is we shouldn't push it. Opie and Anthony had a great time with the song, but we don't want to become a test case. NEW is owned by CBS, which several years ago paid $1.7 million to settle indecency complaints against Howard Stern before the FCC actually got to the merits of the complaints. Yeah, the, um, the way the FCC works, very hard to uh, figure out. You know? So who told on us, first of all? Because if it was higher management, that means it's uh, people that uh, don't even uh, listen to us on yeah. a regular basis. They're yeah. in, like, uh, another state or something. Mm -hmm. So someone had a tattletale on us. I guess they did. Ugh. Rick, do we have the song? Oh, no, we have, we have the CD case. We don't have the song anymore? They, they, took, the they, took, they oh, took the CD. Are you serious? <sighs> Come on. You know, you, you could say things like, like, hey, uh, Bernie Williams has two balls on him. Yeah. You could say that. Yes. But in the, another context, saying the exact same thing will get you in trouble. Yes. Well, how's that? It's stupid. It's a stupid rule. And now we can't play the song. I was going to just play it. They really took the CD out of here? Uh <laughs> Is there another one laying around? Could you try to find it? I think I had to have sent this more. Really? All right. So I guess uh, as far as our show is concerned, we're allowed to do cannibalism. <laughs> we, had a, we had a lady uh, eat a part of uh, stockbroker Dave's vasectomy mm -hmm. for Aerosmith tickets. Yes. Actual piece of his sack. That's okay, but, <laughs> but uh, playing a song that already appeared on TV is not okay, I guess, for us. Yeah. Oh, cute. I'm right. taken to the letter of the word. It is about, you know, cooking. Yeah, it's totally about cooking. It's his recipe for making a... Chocolate salty balls, I guess. All right, Anthony, we're looking for the listeners' help here. All right. We've been uh, censored here at NEW. We're not allowed to play uh, chocolate salty balls anymore. We fun would song. play it, but we don't even have the CD in the studio anymore. They took it away from us. Such a fun little ditty. So I think we need to uh, put a montage together of other songs about, um, about uh, balls. Okay. All right. The ones that come to mind. Big Balls from ACDC. Mm -hmm. Big Ten Inch from Aerosmith. Right. Pearl Necklace from ZZ Top. I guess we'll be banning all these, huh? Yeah. You yeah, have to. So if the listeners could help us out with other songs, because uh, we're drawing a blank, yeah. it'd be greatly appreciated today. All right? All right. And we'll put a little montage together for upper management. Cool? Cool. 1027 WNEW, The Rock of New York, Kiss, Psycho Circus. We had the guys in, what was it, two days ago now, huh, Anthony? Yes. The whole damn band. It was so freaking cold. Gene and Paul and Peter and Ace. And they hung out for an hour, and they had a really, really good time. Yeah. And it was, uh, it was quite a thrill, to say the least. Yeah, we listened to Kiss for so many years, and then you meet them. Yes. Kind of cool. And they're playing the Coliseum Friday. They played the garden already. 
up to that show. And it was really good, right? Yeah. Speaking of concert tickets, because we gave away a lot of tickets to the Kiss shows. Uh, starting Friday, we're going to be giving away Dave Matthews tickets for the sold-out shows when he comes to town. So All right. Keep listening for details on that. But the listeners are coming through uh, with flying colors here, Anthony. Yeah, well, we've been uh, we've been censored, I guess. Pretty much by upper management here at mm -hmm. uh, CBS Radio. Out of the building management. Yes, uh, I, I believe guys that don't really listen to us. No. That have big cushy, uh, you know, offices somewhere else. Yeah, the suits as they call them. And someone from around here, I, I would assume, tattled on us mm -hmm. and told uh, upper management that we were playing a song called uh, "Chocolate Salty Balls." Excuse me, <laughs> Opie and Anthony are playing a very offensive song <laughs> called "Chocolate Salty Balls." You better look into it. Yeah, it's like mind your own business. So now there's a big article in the Daily News about it, how we've been censored. Uh, we want to play the song today, but they even took the CD out of the studio, so we can't do that. You know, this corporate jerk is just like, yeah, I, t I, t I went up and told him, you know, I, I'm the guy, because, you know, we got to watch uh, these guys. What I don't understand I'm is... I'm the big guy. The song, Chocolate Salty Balls, was played on TV. Yeah. And I think the, the rules of TV are a lot stricter than the rules of radio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't understand their logic censoring us and telling us we can't play the Chocolate Salty Ball song from yeah. from South Park. Mm. So we've uh, encouraged the listeners, 212-757-1027, to call us with uh, songs about um, <coughs> Hummers, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and you hear them all the time on radio. You hear them all the time on radio. So what is the difference between playing these songs on the radio and a fun little goofy song from South Park. Yeah. I've lost her head, even when she was given head, she says, hey, <laughs> Yeah. Gee, what does that mean? Boy, is that a double entendre? Because in the article, they're talking about double entendres and stuff. No, I think there's only one entendre there. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Hypocrisy. <laughs> of course. It rules all of our lives. There's no set definition for any of this stuff. There's no no rule book that has a definite black and white issue. You could, you, this is good, this is bad. You do this, you don't do this. Mm -hmm. So it, it doesn't make any sense. It's a bunch of bull. They have a, a problem with a little goof song that we've been playing, and uh, they had no problem with our cannibalism show yesterday, where a girl actually ate a, another piece of a... Of a human. <laughs> For Aerosmith tickets. <laughs> it's a no reason. rhyme or reason. Not at all. But if you want to add to our montage, we'd appreciate it today. Mm -hmm. You could even fax in your uh, your songs because we're uh, racking our brains here. Fax line is 212-957-WNEW. The Rock of New York, 1027 WNEW, ACDC, Hell's Bells. And Johnny Lang, too, still raining as you're stuck in traffic. Oh, holiday traffic. Holiday traffic is oh. upon us. Uh, a lot of people miserable calling from the highways and the byways. Just so they that. could race to their relative's house for a lovely turkey dinner tomorrow. Gee, when you come over the hill, you look down, it's just woo, red. Oh, red tail lights. lights. Forever, yeah. But uh, uh, I'm trying to think if I'm going to um, sit at the, the grown-ups table this year. Yeah? Let me think. I gotta, uh, Anybody? Uh, some, see, the problem in my family, someone has to die, and then mm -hmm. I'm moved up from the kitty table. Yeah. It's pretty pathetic. I'm in my 30s. I've been waiting about five or six years to be moved up to the, um, the adult table, but uh, I think everyone made it through the year this year. Still at the uh, little card table. Little card table with mm -hmm. all my uh, cousins. Oh, the little cousins. The tiny little cousins that want me to get them beer and stuff. <sighs> what a lovely sight this is. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, happy holidays happy holidays everyone uh, does anyone else uh sit around the <laughs> the table while you're carving turkey and 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 say this to yourself you know if i wasn't related to these people i, I don't think i'd ever hang out with them <laughs> always it goes through my head all the time <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes it does so okay well, a lot of people stuck in traffic, Anthony. Yes. Um, they need they need the traffic report, and this is a pretty uh, heavy duty job today. Yeah, I mean, how do you how do you know where to go? Your alternate routes, what uh, roads are blocked? Mm -hmm. You listen to traffic reports, but eh, I don't think they really know the deal. No, they're about fifteen or twenty minutes behind always. But it's somebody. It, it's that... too big a job for Anthony and I. So Rick, open the door and let him in again. 
Uh oh. This, this is scary. Uh -oh. Here he comes! Damn you! Damn you! Robert! No rubbernecking! Move along! Get to your home! Mr. Heston, can I take your horse? Yes. Take my horse. Lord Almighty, you have once again forsaken your flock. The faithful who have given their souls unto you are again frozen in time. Mother only wishes to journey to the homes of loved ones to give thanks for the good fortune you've bestowed upon them. Damn you! Damn! Why? What horrors I now behold? The Triborough Bridge? No! This behemoth of iron and cable offers no passage. Those making the pilgrimage heed my warning. Shun this road of tears. Damn you, Lord God, damn. As my weary eyes gaze down upon the toes of the Lincoln Tunnel, my faith begins to escape me. Why, damn you, they toil away the daylight, only to be greeted by a wall of steel. Steel that is the chariots of their fellow man. Damn you, damn, damn. No, no, Lord, construction, why? Their sick in mind would erect barriers, but preventing swift passage. Mighty God, blast away these devil's blockades with a blast from your mighty nostrils. Damn you! You who are a merciful God must help your followers, guide them to their loved ones. Damn you! Damn you to hell! <laughs> What an experience. Oh, no. What an experience. Oh. I'm shaking. How do you make it rain in the studio, Anthony? I'm soaked. <laughs> the rain is, is still falling. Get him out of here. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, the flowing robes, the, the hair he has. Did you see the big head of hair on him? Yes, I did. He's holding the staff, waving it. He almost hit you twice. Did he have to bring in a whole flock of sheep, though? He's got the sheep, the horses. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm exhausted. The Rock of New York, 1027 WNEW. Black Crow's jealous again. Sophie and Anthony, the ticket blitz continues this weekend with Dave Matthews. We gave away a ton of tickets this week. Mm. We had tickets for Aerosmith, Kiss, uh, Metallica, uh, Tragically Hip. And we'll continue this uh, Friday with uh, tickets to see Dave Matthews playing, of course, two sold-out shows at the Garden. Yeah. And the winning will start uh, Friday morning, so keep listening to NEW. No matter what you're doing this lovely holiday weekend. <laughs> going to the parade. Ooh. Anyone going to the parade? I saw a bunch of saps on TV um, just hanging out watching the balloons get uh, inflated. It's inflation day. <laughs> Where they inflate the balloons. And they're going to have extra people on the ropes. Yeah. So uh, we don't have a little mishap like last year. Yeah, I had a slight mishap. And it's supposed to be a little windy, and I think Giuliani said the police will be in charge. to uh, In charge of his uh, toupee to make sure it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't fly off his off. head. Look, it's Sigmund the sea monster, mommy. <laughs> Look at the float. No, that's Mayor Giuliani with his big bubble head and the little tuft of hair on top. <laughs> like Sigmund. Yeah. So the cops have a uh, last word now whether he balloons looks... can come down if it's too windy. Cool. They'll probably take their guns out and start shooting them. Lay into Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> looks like it's getting out of control. Open fire. You know what we got to do when we come back on Monday? Because we're going to take a few days off and regroup. Yeah. We had a traumatic week, we found out. Oh. We have uh, the Hungerthon people ticked off at us. <laughs> happened there? We didn't even discuss that yet on our show. Today. No. <laughs> the Hungerthon thought they were stepping into the NEW of yesteryear. They were going to come in and, you know. Hey, how you doing, Pete Fornatel? We're auctioning off a guitar for... Yeah. Meanwhile, this year they come in and... There's boobs in this studio. Anthony, let's give the people a taste of what they're missing and if they were tuning in another rock station, okay? Okay. Coming up tomorrow at noon, Alice's Restaurant. It's a favorite here. 
Uh, if you stick around in the 7 o'clock hour, we'll play the turkey song from Adam Sandler for the 100th oh. time this week. And right now, we got to continue with the top 1,027 songs that made <laughs> rock great. We're up to what number, Anthony? Uh, we're coming in at number 423, Opie. <laughs> How ridiculous does that sound when stations do that? 423. How did that, what made it not 424? Right. Why can't you just do, like, the top ten songs in uh, rock history and get it over with? Really thought it out. But instead, coming in at uh, number 782, I believe. <laughs>